Hello, Scott Carroll from Scott Carroll Entertainment here in North Florida. I am so glad to be a part of DJ Talks. I just wanted to let everybody know, I hope you guys are staying safe out there during the coronavirus pandemic and wearing our mask and, of course, doing our social distancing as well. Our business has really kind of hit a milestone during this, but I've been able to take lemons and make lemonade out of them by thinking with no box. Downsizing, that is the biggest key right now. Doing solar events, micro weddings, those seem to help. I, my last wedding I did was uh, March 21st. We started out, it was supposed to be about 100 guests. It got down to probably less than 25 at the wedding in someone's backyard. Basically, what we did was ceremony on one side and reception on the other. We downsized a lot of different things that they were going to do. They decided not to do them to make it as really close-knit family as it could have been. Um, they, the only dance they did was their first dance. Everything else was just uh, kind of background music. They were mingling and, and what have you. Um, they did cut the cake, and, and we went through a lot of other transpiring things during that wedding as well. After that, I got an idea. Why don't we come up with the micro in, um, events? And I said, you know what? Micro weddings, smaller events. Yes, I'm not going to charge as much, but I can still bring people together with less than 50 because that's what we were allowed here in Florida was less than 50 basically at an event and places that uh, you could go to as venues, that's what they were allowing, and they're still pretty well set on that uh, through 2021. And that's what our concept is. That's what we're looking at. And that's the reason I say that is something that you might want to look into with your business and grow it is even if you have to pull back a little bit, you can still move forward by growing your business this way. Even though we've got these obstacles in the way, we can go around them. I love the concept that uh, a lot of our guys out there have come up with the uh, drive-up theaters or the outside uh, outside theater. I think it's great. If you've got a projector like that and you want to move forward with something like that, that is one way uh, to do it. Um, I was just thinking of things that we could do to make our business more simpler to do. I'm not all about going on live and DJing. That's just not my that's not my cup of tea to be able to do. I like to be out there with the guests entertaining them. As first and foremost, I love music. And for me to see the guests have a great time with the music that I'm playing, taking requests, and being open uh, about our entertainment, that's where we need to be at at this point. Think positive. Don't think negative about everything. And I know there's a lot of guys out there that are – uh, the DJ in clubs, and I empathize with you, but there's other things that you can do as well. Once these clubs open back up, whether they have a patio where you can DJ outside, a more open air setting, think about all those different things when you go back to doing clubs. Some are doing big outdoor camp type events uh, that they're doing, but there are other things that you can do even if you are a club DJ as well. Perhaps you may have to take a hiatus as a DJ. A lot of guys have had to do that. Go back to a nine-to-five job for a while. You're going to have to do that to supplement your income. Remember this. You can always go back to being a DJ. You don't have to all of a sudden, oh, that's the end of my career. I'm done with DJing. I'm retiring from it. You can always go back at a pivotal point, even if you have to sell your equipment, Make sure you save and keep all your music that you've uh, accumulated, your library and what have you. Keep all of that. You can always go back uh, to getting more sound equipment, lighting gear, or what have you as well. And don't think that, oh, that's the end of the world on it, and you're done with it. Uh, I'm getting older, yes, but I've found ways to lighten my load by getting lighter speakers and just various things that's helped me throughout uh, my career. Our photo booth is doing well. Uh, we are doing 
more or less with our party props, a kind of a throwaway party props that the guests can buy and it's use it and throw it away. And then I have party props that I'm able to wipe down after every use. Yes, it's kind of a pain, but hey, this is what we have to do through this coronavirus pandemic right now that we're going through. Please wake up, smell the coffee, and still you can have a great time as a DJ during all these times. Please do that for me. Have a great day.